Uh, it should ideally be something close to the front, but also have really good production. I, this town could maybe have potential because it could have three mines, but no, nah, I don't think that's going to be it. Well, it may have to be, even though it's far from ideal. Hmm. Ulundi could do it, actually. I do want this to be my great person farm. What about here? Actually, it's got a really decent production. Yeah, okay, that's good. So, uh, Funky Town is going to become my prime training center for military units. I'm going to move my great general there. He's going to become an instructor. Sailors have spotted a new population of whale. Oh, sweet! This game is going really well. Alright, I got enough units here. Oh, they're pretty hurt, though. It's a good thing I got a medic, but they gotta rest another turn. Another four turns, wow. Well, they're still attacking me, so... I guess it's a good thing that I rested there. Wow. We demand that you cancel your deals with the Vile Indians. You know, you're right. I don't actually like the Indians that much. I really like you. I want you to love me. So, you're right. That'll give me a big bonus again with him. Hey, literature, huh? You know what? I do actually want this. Can you spare this? You could! Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Free technology, just because I'm a nice guy. Wonderful. Um, all right. Yeah, then you know what? Just keep building the military units. Actually, I should build more archers, but... Oh yeah, this is my military town. Let's mark that. Military. And... Join the city. I want you to build a few archers... Or longbowmen, because we're going to need some more defenses on the front. Spearmen, get out there. Take out these swordsmen who are encroaching on my territory. I don't know where they thought they were going. There's no way I was letting them sneak by my city. There we go. And actually, I'm going to say we got enough here. There's a few who are pretty injured, but I got enough healthy people to definitely push forward. So everyone who's healthy, move out. We got to take out Samaria. And just heal up. Keep moving units to the front. We may actually end up with uh, enough for a second army here. Which will not hurt at all. I've entered the Renaissance era. How come? I think I just researched the technology. Education. Yes. Very valuable technology. Although I'm not going to have the opportunity to build any... Uh, universities for a while. Now, I'm going to try to keep an eye on the counter here for liberalism. It's got nine turns left. I'm going to try to stop researching it when I've got one turn left, uh, and I'll explain why once I get to that point. I love the music in the Renaissance. It's like awesome classical tunes. I don't know anything about classical music, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what kind of classical. But there it is, nonetheless. Oh, his catapult suicides itself against my stack, just so that it can do a lot of collateral damage. But I'm not concerned about that. I do have my medic with me. You know, I really do need to build a Forbidden Palace ASAP. Uh... I'm going to want to build it as far north as possible. So, basically, the further away from your capital, which is Moscow in my case, the further away from your capital your cities are, the more maintenance they cost you. Also, the more cities you have, the higher your sort of maintenance overall gets. So it's, it grows kind of exponentially. Uh, so, if I were to build um, my Forbidden City, 
I could build it in Ulundi, but it would be even better, I think, if I built it in Lagash, because that's further away and it's it's deeper in the core of everyone else's territory. So I think that'll be kind of a high priority. If I can hold off a little bit longer, take over these cities, that'll be a pretty valuable way to do it. So let's see if I can pull that off. First, take over the cities. Secondly, build a Forbidden Palace there. Forbidden City, Forbidden Palace. I don't remember what it's called. Something like that. All right, keep Scooch forward. Again, he is attacking with the catapult. It is kind of a smart move, but at the same time, he's not able to leverage the damage that he does. Uh, he is able to snipe one of my units there, which is pretty good. So, my catapults are just going to bombard. I'll need a couple of turns to do it. And the rest of my units are simply going to fortify and defend themselves in the forest. Which is a good place to be. Can I snipe his... Uh, no. You guys just fortify. Too small to move out as an army yet. But soon. I almost have enough for a second army. He's actually going to try to attack my city. I might be able to snap this, snipe this catapult depending on how much movement he's got. Or maybe not. Um, I am probably going to build a wonder here. The University of Sankor would be good. No, it's too slow. You know, I'm just going to keep in my world domination plans. I really don't need that stuff to do it. Uh, the Heroic Epic and National Epic will get built very shortly, but not in Moscow. Moscow is just going to build... Uh, he's going to look after my economy. I don't want more military units right this second. I don't know, maybe I should. Fuck it, keep building it. I'm going to mix it up. Have a variety of different things going on. There we go because we need a mixed army. Macemen, longbowmen, and catapults. Yeah, we definitely... I'll, I'll keep building military units. I want a two-pronged army. Brennus has declared war on Gilgamesh again. I think he senses blood in the water. He wants a piece of it. Which is kind of funny. Now, over here in Funky Town, I am going to build... Uh, oh my god, I'm building military units. I don't have a barracks here. Bar barracks first, and then I'm going to have to build the heroic epic here, which will double the production of military units. So not only will they start with higher experience points, they will be built much, much faster. As Martha Stewart would say, that's a good thing. Uh, let's see if I can snipe with my spearmen here. We have a big bonus against uh, mounted units, although they are a pretty low level and weak unit. I really need pikemen. There we go. Again, I got to make sure to keep an eye on the research thing. Liberalism, six turns left. I don't actually think I'm doing a very good job of that so far. Okay, bombard the city. Next turn, we attack. Mm hmm. Um, I'm going to leave this one long woman here. They're still picking away it down here, but they have no hope of getting anything accomplished. I suppose they have a small chance of killing some of my units, but if they're fortified, they're digging into their defenses. There's also the cultural bonus of 15%. Uh, yeah, Shaka, I'll trade you my world map. I don't think yours is going to be worth anything. Oh, it actually is a little bit. Alright, do we not have open borders with my own vassal? Yes. Take that. And he's actually pleased with me because, again, even though we had a war and he hates me for that, uh, we are still the same religion, that's good. And we, uh, he says, you know, our defense pact proves that we are close friends. Well, because we're vassals, I am going to participate in any war if someone attacks him, so that makes him like me. And currently we're in a war together, and that makes us great friends. So, yay us. All right, well, they got a lot of military units in there. Um, but I think I can do it, probably. I'm going to have to suicide all my uh, catapults again. I have no doubt.